Ah, I hear a zombie now. I wonder why they didn't show up for the dungeon and stuff. It must have been just, like, just fast enough with lighting and stuff that they wouldn't show up or something. I don't know, that's kind of weird. Get some more coal. One thing I like about my diamond pick is I'm not going to run out of it for a while. It takes a lot to run out of a diamond pick. Okay, so... Oh, one more bit of lava there that I better get rid of. Just because I know I would end up falling into it. That would not be fun for me. Guess I could just fill this in. doesn't look like utter crap. I think I'll go ahead and leave it like that. Right, so is that it to the cave? Is there any other resources I missed? I'm not really seeing any, but Oh, here's some. Haha. <laughs> Glad I kept checking. bit stuff has managed to spawn in here since it's been a while since I of me being in this cave. Or not. I don't know. It's kind of weird.
I'm gonna reset the recording, be right back. Alright, I'm back. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Not really. Still kinda laggy for some reason. Nope, no enemies spawned in here either. It's kinda weird. I'll show you again, I still am on normal. a lot of junk for our caving exploits. Silly water. Got better things to do than deal with you. Alright, so. One good use for, cut for gravel that I keep forgetting to mention is that you can use it to fill up lava pools if you don't happen to have water because it'll sink all the way to the bottom of the lava to fill it up. Um, so that's a good use for that. You could do the same thing with sand, but I'd rather not waste sand with that when you can make sandstone and glass and stuff with it. I was checking my phone for a message, but there wasn't any. Nobody messages me. That's right. I'd rather not deal with people anyway. Not you guys, because you guys are awesome, but regular people. Real life people, I should say. Alright. You know, when I originally came down here for the, uh, for the dungeon loot, I didn't realize just how, how much good stuff we were going to get. This will help with our coal shortage quite a bit. I think that's about it. This is the first cave ever, I think, that I've ever, ever had uh, no enemies to deal with at all, or anything like that. Especially since we are on 
normal, and we've heard several zombies, but we haven't seen any. Now the question is... I was going to say, now the question is, how do we get out of here? But with that sound, I'm going to go look. Let's see if there's another part of the cave in here somewhere. No, but there's iron. I think how I got in here was by the lava, if I remember right. Ow. Down here. Come on game, no more of that stupid moving me when I don't want you to move. Especially around lava. Here's my entrance, right? My long stairway of awesome. Here's the skelly spawner. Fantastic. Now it'll probably be nighttime. No, it's not. That's weird. Thanks for the pork, whoever dropped it. Thanks for the nice welcome gift. Well, that was a successful run. I approve. Got a lot of good stuff. Ready to go back home. I really don't know why the mobs haven't spawned yet. The enemies, I mean. Must be too many animals on the surface or something. I, I don't know if enemy mobs are affected by how many animals are on the surface or not. You're not getting the better of me, tiger, especially after going through a whole cave. Might as well get you. Screw you. Alright, well that was a very successful run. I approve very much. Got a lot of iron, quite a bit of coal. Bucket of lava I don't need at the moment. A couple more chests. Uh, let's see. Got some bread.
got more than a stack of the uh of the uh mossy stone. Powder, redstone. Right. Pork in there. Space for the iron ingots, huh? Well, guess I'll go ahead and take these fishies. Yeah, I'll just put the fish back for now. Take the coal. We can put the coal by the furnaces in the work area. Right. Cobble away. Gravel. Guess I'll put the coal in here for now. Anything else? Um, I don't know where I could really put the chests. Maybe one right there above the doors? Actually, never mind. I know where I can put them. Farm area needs its own. Where would be a good spot, though? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. One right there. One right there. And that's my death chest. Okay, so next time we will actually continue with the farm area here, like I had originally planned to do in this set of videos. Um, with our extra bucket here, we'll be able to uh, put the water in these areas much faster. And uh, we'll have to go get some seeds and some reeds. I think I already have some seeds. I guess not, so we'll have to go get some. Kind of surprised I haven't picked up any. That's weird. We'll have to go get some 
and get to work on that. Um, but that'll be for next time. Should get a stack of dirt just so I have it with me. Where would I? Dirt's over here, I think. Yep. I generally like to use dirt, gravel, or even sand over cobble when uh, just like exploring caves or whatever. I don't like to place a bunch of random cobble around if I don't have to, so that's why I have the dirt with me in case I need it. Anyways, next time we will continue to work on our work area. Uh, hopefully once I get the farms going inside I can call it good and put up a sign and declare it done. Um, we'll still have a tree farm to make up top but that'll be an extra deal. It's not necessarily included with the building itself so uh... Yeah, anyways. That's it for now. Thanks for watching boys and girls. I am the good old gamer. We've been playing more Minecraft on Creeper Island with various mods and we've uh, went and conquered a zombie dungeon with almost no effort whatsoever other than basic lighting up of a cave so that was fun with all that said we got a lot of good loot and I'm happy and we can continue on with our work plans and so uh, we'll wait here just a few seconds so we can sleep and that'll be it for this set of videos Moon's right there, game. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye for now.